significant culture change? Uh, look, no doubt leadership needs to um, set the standard, um, set the consistency, but also embrace the cultural change. And I think uh, my experiences over the last six or seven years uh, in particular have been uh, have been it's been amplified that the role of culture has got as much to play uh, in the outcomes that we get more than anything else. So if we don't get the culture piece right first, I think we're really going to struggle with getting um, any of the other outcomes that we're hoping to achieve. I think through Bunbury's experiences, the cross-functional teams have shown that we're getting our best outcomes by incorporating people from across the organisation, from different levels within the organisation, to participate either in problem solving or particular projects. And the cross-functional teams might be something as simple as our, uh, our employee consultative committee, it could be our project management office, it could be our workplace safety and health committee, uh, it, it could be down to a specific um, program. But those teams are, are providing much more impact and taking the message back further into the organisation around the value of those programs. So I'm putting a lot of emphasis um, on those cross-functional teams as a, a real key way of breaking down silos, but also distributing information more broadly through the organisation. Uh, absolutely, the city's got uh, our Evolve program. We initially called it our Digital Transformation program, but we realised that we weren't actually digi digitally transforming, we were evolving because we had some catch up to do just to become contemporary. We've got, um, we've just delivered our Human Resource Information System project. Uh, more importantly this year, we're now embarking on our um, project management task, our change management task, which is really the current piece of work. And then later in the year, we'll be launching our customer experience, our CX program, which I think is that piece that's been missing to close the gap with the community, with our elected members and with our staff. Uh, last one first, uh, it's been a great, it's been, it's always been great. I think I've, I've participated in a few of these workshops now and every one of them I walk away having learned something, having made contact with someone that I either don't know or that I'm reacquainted with, um, being reacquainted with. So I think those, the networking opportunity is fantastic. Uh, I think the opportunity of hearing from other people to know that we're not alone in these journeys. I think uh, even today, um, you know, there were my, some colleagues and peers and people from outside my sector who I've listened to uh, have just you know, reunited the interest in just doing things better for our organisation and for our community.